Hey, it's Angie with News OK. And Becky. And Becky is a registered dietitian and our recipe for health food columnist for the Oklahoman and NewsOK.com. Um, she has wonderful ideas that a couple times a month you can read in the Oklahoman and on NewsOK.com. Today we're talking about, you know, it's June, which is a great time to get married. I have a friend getting married in June. It's, it's, it's a wonderful time for weddings. Um, and so a lot of people are starting their kitchens. She has some great ideas for those brides and, and for grooms who may cook as well. Um, but for anybody, even if, even if you've been married for a little while, these are great healthy ideas. Well, they are, and they're simple. The idea is being able to fix one thing and use it several ways. Nice. We're going to start, we're going to use a vinaigrette, an orange glaze that we're going to use, uh -huh. and a fruit salad dressing nice. that is fabulous. Very so, cool. Uh, but but we're, we're starting off with, yes, with our vinaigrette. Okay. And uh, I've just got my olive oil already. Uh, in my bowl, uh -huh. I'm adding white balsamic vinegar, and white balsamic is not totally white, it's just not really dark. Huh. Um, I've got, and I just think it looks prettier with a salad. Sure. I've got Dijon mustard, mm -hmm. and some minced garlic. Oh, it smells so good. Little bit of salt and pepper, mm -hmm. and a small amount of sugar, okay. just to offset the vinegar uh, acid. And we're going to mix this up, uh -huh. and we have three different ways that we're going to use this, or two wow. different ways that we're going to use this. Very nice. That's great. So you can make this at home. It's a great healthy way to uh, obviously have a dressing and things like that. Um, and you can use it in a couple different ways. Absolutely. Okay. And you can find all of that obviously in the Oklahoma. And so now we're going to be go doing the orange glaze. Uh, yes, we okay. are. All right. All right, so here is our orange glaze. Yes, and this is or so... Or will be our orange glaze. <laughs> yes, it will be very soon. Actually, Angie, what we are doing, I have measured two cups of orange juice in here, just regular orange juice. Okay. We are going to cook this at a simmer okay. for about 10 to 12 minutes. Huh. What it's actually going to do is just reduce the orange juice okay. to a nice glaze, oh. and we're going to look at several different ways to be able to use it. That's great. Yes. So it is so simple. It's beginning to get warm now. and uh, So you can use this as a sauce, as a glaze. You mm -hmm. know, obviously we can figure that out. So um, um, we need to let this, does it need to actually uh, boil? Do you well, need it needs it? to be a good simmer. Okay. And so, and you can see the steam is beginning to come. And uh, we will just keep stirring. Now, you don't have to stir it constantly. But just make but sure it doesn't as, burn. Yes, you want to be sure it doesn't scorch. And Angie, we have this simmering now. Mm -hmm. And you can see it's already beginning to thicken just a little bit. Okay. And we'll let it just keep cooking a bit longer. Well, Becky, wow. So this is what an orange glaze looks like. Yes, and you can see how nice and thick it's mm -hmm. still simmering. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Uh-huh. And um, so now you can actually put it over, you know, a chicken or, or whatever you want for an orange glazed chicken, which is something we will show you here in a little bit. Exactly. Okay. It's wonderful flavor. All right. This is our third and final demonstration. Tell us what we're doing. We're doing a basic fruit salad dressing. Okay. I have fresh lime juice mm -hmm. and some orange juice, mm -hmm. a little bit of powdered sugar, and some fresh chopped mint. Oh, very nice. Such a wonderful flavor. All yeah. you do is mix this up. Okay. All there is to making the dressing. So now, obviously, we have made three different, or she has made, Becky has made three <laughs> different wonderful things that you can use for different foods, um, for baking and cooking, you know, and what you're doing in your kitchen. Um, basic and healthy. And now we're going to show you how to actually plate those and what they will pair with. All right. Let's okay. Do it. Okay, well, here's the final plates of these wonderful ideas. You've got your vinaigrette, your orange glaze, and your fruit salad yes, dressing. Yes, dressing. Okay, uh -huh. okay. Yeah, so it, it, tell us what we have here. Okay, well, we have a basic salad that's just a green, uh, mixed green mm -hmm. with cherry tomatoes salad. You could use any vegetables you wanted with our vinaigrette. And then we paired diced avocado Very nice. with cherry tomatoes, a little uh, reduced fat feta cheese, and Very put nice. our vinaigrette with that. Okay. Our orange glaze, we've got pork chops, and we just left the orange glaze plain, which mm -hmm. you can serve it like that. I poured it over the chicken breast, mm -hmm. um, and they could be grilled on the grill or just cooked in a, a, a skillet, whatever. And, and I put, put some, some tarragon. fresh tarragon, <laughs> yes. Very nice. There are other herbs that could yeah. be used as well. And then our fruit salad, mm -hmm. this is all mixed together, the fruit with the dressing together, 
or this is a pineapple ring with raspberries and blueberries and then we oh. garnished it with the fresh mint sprigs. So different ways to mm -hmm. use I basic know. simple recipes. That's so great. Obviously great ideas um, for new brides and, and uh, new couples who are starting out, um, but also just for anybody. I mean, these are wonderful ideas, the simple and healthy things that you can uh, have in your kitchen and mix up real quick. Absolutely. That is great. Very cool. Okay. So you can find all of these recipes uh, and about, uh, you know, not only about uh, these recipes, but much more in Becky Varner's Recipe for Health food column, which is in the Oklahoman in the life section and also on newsok.com. Thank you so much. Angie, thank you.